Good evening. For some reason, it just feels like evening, I guess. You know, last week I would have said good afternoon, but um, with the light being the way it is, it feels like night almost. I'm not going to say good night, but um, it is a good evening. Uh, last week I did take off. I had a great time off. Thank you for all your prayers and support. Um, it was a good time off. I slept probably about 10 hours a day, so I feel rel- well rested. Um, caught up on a lot of movies and TV shows I wanted to watch too and spent some time with the folks. So it was, it was very good, very good time. Um, I get back from time off to, to leave again. Um, <laughs> that's what it feels like. Uh, so I'm heading on NCYC. Uh, next Thursday I leave. Next Thursday morning we leave. There's a, there's a whole crew of us going. There's a bus leaving here at Sacred Heart at 7 a.m. in the morning. Um, and because of that, there is no daily mass on Thursday. Uh, but on Friday at 9 o'clock, I believe Father Ambrosi is coming over to celebrate the school mass. Um, so uh, we'll still have the school mass on Friday with Father Ambrosi or Father Miller, whoever's, whoever will be here. Um, so there is mass on Friday, but no mass on Thursday. Uh, the weekend, uh, I'll be gone as well on the weekend. Uh, Father Jeffrey Wirth um, from, the, from Wisconsin, he's coming to uh, talk about food for the poor. Uh, so he'll be celebrating Mass next weekend uh, here at Sacred Heart in St. Joseph's. Um, and because of that, we're not live streaming the Mass next weekend. Um, so all of you who are watching on, online, I guess, I'm sorry. Uh, next weekend, we're not going to be live streaming, but we'll get back onto it the week after. Just next weekend, we're not live streaming. Um, so Father Jeffrey Worth will be here next week. Uh, let's see. Oh, um... We're also, again, collecting food for the college students. Um, this next weekend will be the, the last weekend we'll be collecting food. Um, so either this weekend or next weekend is your, your last opportunity to uh, give food or little, little stuff that college students will need and we'll send that off to them uh, right before our finals. Um, off from the back of church, on the script table, we do have the envelopes for our raffle that we usually traditionally hold um, in December. Um, so pick up your uh, envelope, you're more than welcome to. Uh, if you don't pick it up, we'll mail it. Um, so it'll just save us a stamp if you pick it up today or this weekend. Uh, finally, if you did order a shirt uh, for Lynn Elmagreen, um, we do have some shirts in the back uh, with your name on it if you did order online. Uh, so you're welcome to pick up those shirts. I think that's pretty much it. So let us stand and let us greet our neighbor. And let us gather together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
my brothers and my sisters, as we gather together today to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Thank you. A reading from the prophet Daniel. In those days, I, Daniel, heard this last word of the Lord. At that time there shall arise Michael the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. At that time your people shall escape everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be in everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool. For by one offering, He has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. Where there is forgiveness of these, there is no longer offering for sin. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days after the tribulation, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light, and the stars will be falling from the sky, and the power in the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. And then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds and from the ends of the earth to the end of the sky. Learn a lesson from the fig tree. When its branches become tender and sprout leaves, you know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that he is near at the gates. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But on that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's readings are about the end of times. I think about how that applies with the month of November, being the end of the liturgical year, but also how it pertains to the souls of all our dearly departed, and how we must remember to pray for them. They may not have been ready for the end, and we must be there to help get them to eternal life. 
After reading these readings several times, I kept thinking about what my life would have been like today if my wife hadn't came through her medical issues back in 2018. Would I be here right now, in this place, doing what I am doing right now? I don't know, but God has a plan for each one of us. And what happens in our lives, good and bad, he guides us through them. We must be faithful. We have to keep the fire burning for him in our hearts, as his love for us has never died. We do not know the hour or the day when the Son of Man will come again, but we have to be ready. This gospel is near the end of Jesus' public ministry. In the days ahead, he will celebrate a meal with his disciples. He will give his body and blood in the final Passover. He will die on the cross and rise from the dead in three days. He tells us of the seriousness of the end of days, the apocalypse. But this is not the last chapter of our lives. If we live our lives like him and for him, to be like him, we the faithful will be welcomed into the kingdom of God at the end of days. When talking about the fig tree, Jesus is referring to the cross. Out of the darkness of human sin and violence in this world, love shines forth with splendor. We also know that Christ crucified, died, risen, and ascended to the Father will come again. He will come to judge the living and the dead. We do not know the hour, the time, or the place. But we need to take Jesus' preaching seriously. Yes, the world will pass away, but Jesus' words will not. They are eternal. We must prepare ourselves for his coming, to receive Jesus when he comes again. Do we take the gospel seriously? Do we read his words every day? Or have we privatized our Christian faith as so many Americans do today? Jesus' words have not passed away. They are celebrated every day in our churches. Our churches should be filled with people wanting to hear the word of Jesus and live it each and every day of their life. We need to teach our young people how valuable the word of Jesus is in their daily lives by going to church, reading the Bible, by participating in the sacraments, and just by being like Jesus so they can be like him and be with him at the end of days. I recently asked my faith formation class if they had a Bible in their home. And 25% said no, or they didn't know if they had one. What kind of Christian are we if we don't share the good news of Jesus with our children in our own homes? The Lord comes to us in this book, the Bible. Every time we open it, he comes to us in the Eucharist. Every time we drink his body and blood, he comes to us every time we feed the hungry and the thirsty the naked and the poor. He comes to us when we need him. All we have to do is listen. And let us proclaim our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, 
light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Knowing the presence of the Lord in our own lives and the power of prayer, we, we ask Christ to hear and to grant all of our petitions. For God's holy church, moving towards the fulfillment of history, may we be prepared to give an account of our stewardship of God's generous gifts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Every age has its prophet and martyrs. May our world and its leaders heed the call to justice and commit themselves to the welfare of every member of the human family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, that we may stand steadfast in times of trial, for the courage to pursue what is right, whatever the cost, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who risk their lives to maintain justice and order in our society, for all those who serve our country in the military and law enforcement, and for their families, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering members of this community, may they find strength in uni uniting their sacrifice with the sacrifices of Jesus and receive comfort in our prayers and support. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the members listening to our parish book of intentions, and especially for Jim Kirk, whom we remember in a special way through the intention of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that having shared in the body and blood of Christ, they may live forever in God's presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Heavenly Father, we turn to you today, trusting that you are always with us and will grant our prayer. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God's the Almighty Father. And the Lord accepts sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Within the of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Let's be peace with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ can be saved for eternal life.
Amen.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Again, don't forget if you did uh, get a shirt for Lynn uh, in the back, um, they're on that central table. And then uh, to pick up your envelope, uh, if you're a member here at Sacred Heart, in the back as well. Uh, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks. Thanks be to God. Please join in our closing hymn, number 725, Blessed Are They.